Welcome back to Ladybug Lane Soaps, everybody. And it has been probably a couple weeks since I have made soap, maybe even longer. Um, this is autumn, and I, the, uh, my family brought home, it wasn't the flu, but it was some sort of a bug, and I was coughing, and you know, and you just don't feel like making soap. So I'm much better now, and uh, so I'm trying out this fragrance oil from Rustic Essentials. It's called, it's called Hipster, <laughs> and it's supposed to um, have no acceleration, no rising, no um, discoloration, and according to the website, the notes are amber, teakwood, coffee beans, musk, cedar, and leather, and hints of lemon, bergamot, neroli, iris, and vetiver. So, we shall see. And I am trying out for the first time these tall and skinny moles. Let's see if you can even oh, see that. Oh, there we go. And it's about 12 inches long. And I want to say maybe about three and a quarter inches tall. And this is definitely narrower, much narrower than my my usual wooden molds that my husband and I made. This is about maybe two and a quarter inches, maybe. <laughs> Uh, where my other one was at least three inches so but anyway I've always wanted to try one of these and I found it on Amazon and it does look pretty doggone uh, sturdy here with these sides so I will leave the link below so and I won't be rattling off the colors I'll just maybe take a take a picture of these later and then just insert them in the video just to kind of save time so, alrighty, so let's get making soap.
welcome back everybody to the cutting of hipster and so I need to report that this is the second loaf using those brand new silicone tall and skinny molds and believe it or not this one uh, turned out a little bit better if you could believe it or not and I will post the pictures of the of the first one Let's see if it's going to focus. And um, yeah, so this side here, even though it has has the bubbles, it did turn out you know, a little bit better. But what I have discovered, gang, after doing a little bit of research on the good old internet is that it is very important to use the sodium lactate, at least about one teaspoon for every pound of oils. And just to show you, so about three days ago, I made these little simple bars, solid color, scented with the Avo Bath. And it's just, as you can tell, it's just, just a solid color because I didn't want to do any, any fussing. I just wanted to see if using the uh, sodium lactate if that would make any difference and you know gang it did um i did put a whole bunch of towels over it over the um uh two two silicone molds and so it, it did go through gel because it was pretty warm and i did wait about three days and just with a little uh shoving out on the you know bottom just to kind of release the the um uh, what air whatever the suction between this open the in the bottom it slid right out so i guess if i if i will be using those uh, silicone molds in the future i will definitely need to be using the sodium lactate but the thing that i like about those molds is that it is so smooth on the side i mean it's just you know so smooth so i do like that but now these are Definitely smaller bars of soap, and I mean they're at least about an inch smaller than my uh, normal ones. But they, and let me just put them in my hand. Yeah, so it's just kind of a nice, it's just a nice, uh, comfortable size. All right, guys, my apologies for this grainy, grainy screen. I have been moving. The tripod around the house and I think it's just the lighting that's coming in through the windows so I do apologize for the awful lighting so I'll just cut a few of these just to see what's in there alrighty hey that's kind of interesting yeah so yeah, so like I say, that was supposed to be more of the kind of a tangerine, but you know, it's a it's a soap for the fellas. So I don't know if they will mind. Whoops, tighten that up a little bit. Yeah, so this is what is it, October twenty. Ninth. Oh, do you see a couple little, look at that little heart. You know, I do like that one. It's a little rough around the edges. Um, and our temperatures in the Pacific Northwest have really been dipping in the past couple of nights. I think we had like about 31 degrees at 7 o'clock this morning. Uh, like the other side. Yeah, so autumn is definitely, definitely upon us. That's for sure. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of funny when I ask my two boys if they uh, like a particular design or color they just give me this look 
and roll their eyes and say, Mom, we're guys. And it's like, it's like that doesn't mean anything. It's like, you know, you guys can, can have choices, but I guess they're very, I'll use the polite word, they're very in, indifferent. Very indifferent. Oh, do I see a little heart there? Yeah. So I can't believe that Halloween is this Friday. And I will be uploading, oh, there is another heart. And I'll be uploading this video in two more days. On Wednesday, I have have the entire video all edited and everything with music. I just need to, like I say, get these, get the cut on there. Um, I think I did use the end of my spoon. Do a little swirl in these. You know, I need to get like a little, um, one of those little pads that people put like in their in their cupboard so this thing doesn't make that noise. Ah, I like that one. It always drives me nuts when this thing goes thunk. Okay, well so much for just cutting a couple. I like that one. Yeah. So anyway, there we, there we go. Wait. All right, gang, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.